Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to hide buttons in your project. Now in the iPhone simulator here I have an example of what we'll be creating today. You can simply see here there's 11 buttons all together in total and on the left here and down at the bottom we have our actions like simply hide one, reveal one, same for two and three and at the bottom hide all and reveal all. Simply what they will do is press hide one and it shall hide button one and reveal and it brings it back. Same with two and three and at the bottom here hide all will simply hide all the three buttons and reveal all will bring them all back. Now already I have my project set up. It's a view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it hide buttons for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add our outlet and action buttons. So to do that we go into our view controller.h and just after the first curly bracket just hit enter a few times so it gives a little bit of space and I'll zoom in for you and the first thing you need to do is id outlet space ui button that is a button we'll be using space asterisk and I'll name it simply button1 so it's very easy to understand now for every button you want to hide, you need to create an outlet for it. So in total, we're having three outlets all together as we're hiding three buttons. So simply copy and paste it to save a little bit of time and obviously just change it from button one to button two and eventually three. Now once you've done that, after the first, last curly bracket there, we need to add in our action buttons to hide the buttons individually, reveal them individually and hide them all and reveal them all. So we start with the hiding the individual buttons first. So to do that we do dash bracket IB action bracket hide one as this button will hide button one. And once you've done that, simply copy it and paste it three times so we have three all together. And obviously change it from hide one to hide two and three. So there are three buttons all together there. And let's press enter twice there and we'll add our reveal buttons so paste in again three more but we'll change it this time to reveal one reveal two and reveal three so now we have our individual reveal buttons and now we need to add our hide all and reveal all button so we've just paste one in and then we change this one to hide all and that we do again, paste another action button in. And this time will be reveal all. So you can save that and if you want to pause it and catch up any of the coding. But that is all the action buttons we need to create. So now once we've done that, we'll zoom out and we'll go straight into our interface into our view controller.xib where we will add all our buttons just to get out of the way because it's quite time consuming adding all the buttons and linking them all up. So what we need to do then simply drag a button in and make it a decent size and drag a second one in and it's a lot smaller so we can kind of copy the same interface as I created in the simulator and we will name this one hide one as it will hide this button here which we'll name one Reveal one. Now, once you've done that basic layout there, we can simply copy and paste it for our second lot and then our third lot. Just, just changing the um, numbers on them to two on this one and then two here and then three. Like I said before, it is a little bit time consuming, but it does take some time. But that's all right. Now once you've done that, paste two more buttons at the bottom, as these will be our hide all button. And finally our reveal all. 
And once we've done that, we can save that. Now we didn't need to link up all the connections, so simply click Files Owner. Now you've got all the connections here in the outlets. We simply drag button one to button one here, button two to button two, button three to button three. So once you linked up all the outlets there, we need to link up all the actions. Now this does take a little bit of time, so just bear with me one second. And to make it touch down as a simple gesture there, anything you like, but it's the easiest one in similar air, so I'm going to go for touchdown, then hide two to hide two, hide three to hide three, then hide all to hide all, reveal one to reveal one, reveal two to reveal two. Now using the well, hiding buttons and stuff like that, and roll touchdown, can like kind of help a lot in design as is say if you have like a really cool looking interface but you have too many buttons as I'm showing you here it's a great way to hide it or simply stuff like that. Like great little feature and you can play around with it and do whatever you like with it but it's quite helpful in most apps anyway and the final touchdown and reveal all so once you've done that we can save that and we can go straight and add out all of our code in our view controller button and just after the implementation hit enter a few times so you've got a little bit of space and we'll do the code in there for the button that will hide the buttons individually. I'll zoom in there for you. So we do dash bracket IB action. Bracket. And the first one is hide one. Space bracket. And hit enter. Now all it is is one line of code and it's simply team button one dot hidden space equals space make sure the yes is in capitals and then that way semicolon that's all the code that's needed there to hide button one now if you just want to copy that and then paste it twice just to save a little bit of time and change it to two and then that to button two then hide to three and then to button three and save that now we've set up all the code in there to individually hide the buttons 1, 2 and 3. Now we need to individually reveal them. So if we just paste it in again, but this time change it to reveal 1. And then change the yes to capital no. So once we've done that, again we do exactly the same, just simply copy and paste it. I'll just zoom out a little bit so I can scroll down. Zoom back in, and again, change the second one here to reveal two to button two, and then reveal three to button three. And then, when we've done that, we can save that. I'll zoom up a little bit now. If you want to pause the video and catch up with any of that coding, but now we've got the all the coding set up there to individually reveal and hide each of the buttons. But now we need to add the code in to hide all the buttons and reveal all the buttons. So if we just paste it in again, so to save a little bit of time, and then change the action, um, ID action name to hide, uh, yeah, hide all, do that one first. And make sure, button one, make sure it's hidden with a capital yes. And then what we're going to do this time is simply copy the whole of this line and paste it so we have three all together. But then change it to two and three there individual buttons so when we hit that button it hides all of the buttons all together and if we copy that and then paste that there and then change this to reveal all and the same process to change the yeses to capital nose And now we've got all the code in there to hide all the buttons and reveal all the buttons. So I'll zoom out and if you want to pause the video and catch up on any of the code in there, that is all the code that's needed there to function all the buttons. So now once you've done that, we go straight away to build and run. There'll be no problems as all the code is perfect as usual in all my tutorials. So we can just wait for it to build in the iPhone simulator.
Okay then, so here you have it. Hide one, simply hides the button. Reveal one, brings it back. Same with two, and brings it back. And three, brings it back, and then eventually you can hide all of them and reveal all of them all together. Now this is a great way for creating menus or even if you're creating a game and you want people to unlock content by doing certain stuff. So it's a great feature to do and I hope it helps you in any of your apps or projects at the moment. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for a future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe.